this is circuit diagram of a node MCU with PIR sensor and 5 volt single channel relay. In this diagram, the ground pin of PIR sensor is connected to ground pin of node MCU. VCC pin of PIR sensor is connected to 3.3 volts VCC pin of PI, uh, node MCU and out signal of PI sensor is connected to D2 pin of node MCU. In program we have used D2 uh, so here also we are connecting to D2. For 5 volt single channel relay the VCC pin of chan a single channel relay is connected to VCC pin of node MCU. Ground pin of node MCU is connected to ground pin of a single channel relay and the in terminal that is connected to D3 pin of node MCU and the other side of the uh, 5 volts relay module uh, the uh, there are three terminals normally close common normally open the common terminal is connected to two pin plug and the normally open pin is uh, connected to one of the uh, connection to the bulb and the bulb other one end goes to the two pin plug so in this way first you should do the connection and now i'll explain the program and how to do the experiment for this experiment we need a bulb ac bulb with bulb holder and a pir sensor and a 5 volts single channel relay module and esp esp8266 node mcu so how to do the connection with pir sensor the first pin is ground the ground of PIR sensor is connected to ground of node MCU and the middle one is the input pin, signal pin. The middle pin, it is connected to D2 pin of node MCU because in program we have taken D2 and the third one black wire. This is your VCC pin. This is connected to VCC of node MCU. This is about the connection between PIR sensor and node MC. Then this is a relay module. In relay module, on this side, this is normally open and middle one is a common uh, terminals of a relay module. So this is connected to the, see here, this is connected to your bulb holder. This is connected to bulb holder. Okay. And the other wire is connected to your switch. Okay. So, how to connect the relay to the bulb holder that I have already done in video and the link is given in a description box. You can go through that and you will come to know that how to connect the relay model with bulb holder and the two pin plug so after checking that video you can do the connection on this side this is ac side that is dc side on dc side you have three terminal the first terminal is a vcc it is given to, to given to vcc pin of node mcu and the middle one is ground it is given to ground of node mcu and the last one is in that is a relay in terminal that is given to D3 pin of node MCU. This is about the connection connection and I have already explained uh, the circuit diagram of this in few minutes back. You, you can go through the circuit diagram. When no motion is detected, see the bulb is off and uh, uh, the relay is also in off condition. When motion is detected, the LED uh, bulb will become on and here the relay is also on. So, when no motion, 
bulb is off when motion bulb is on you can also observe in serial monitor so when motion is there person detected a bulb on uh, that will be displayed in a serial monitor and uh, when person will left so when there is no motion bulb will be in off so that information is also displayed on a serial monitor Uh, this is an interfacing program uh, of uh, DI, PIR sensor and uh, relay model with the uh, node MCU. Uh, in this program, we are not using any Wi-Fi uh, connection and Wi-Fi model of ESP8266. So that uh, uh, you can, if you are not using any Wi-Fi functionality, you can remove this function. Okay, so you can remove this line. Directly, you can start writing from this line. And the code of this uh, program, uh, I have given in a, a description box, you can download it. And uh, the first line is constant int PIR sensor is equal to D2. And uh, the second line is constant int relay pin is equal to D3. These lines defines two constants, PIR sensor pin and relay pin. These constants stores GPIO numbers to which you have connected and your PIR sensor and the relay model respectively. You can change these values to match your actual hardware connections. So the next is int PIR state is equal to low, uh, int last PIR state is equal to low, and uh, um, uh, Boolean uh, bulb, Boolean bulb on is equal to false, unsigned long bulb on uh, time is equal to zero, up to here, all these four. So these lines declare several variables. Uh, uh, PIR state and the last PIR states are used to store uh, store the current and previous state of the PIR sensors, low or high value. And bulb on is a flag that tracks whether bulb is on or off. And the bulb on time record records the time in milliseconds when the bulb was turned on. And the constant unsigned long bulb on duration 5000. So this line uh, declares the constant bulb on duration, which is set to 5,000 milliseconds. That is 5 seconds. It represents the duration for which the bulb will stay on after de detection, uh, detecting the motion. So you can adjust this value to change the on duration. Next is wide setup. Uh, then next line, pin mode, uh, sensor, uh, pin comma input. And then pin mode, relay pin, comma output. Then digital write, relay, pin, comma low. And then serial begin 9600. So all these things. The setup function uh, is called once at the beginning of the program. It performs the task like uh, configuring the PIR sense, sensor pin as input pin, indicating that it will read data from the PIR sensor configures the relay pin as output pin, indicating that it will control the relay and sets the initial uh, state of the relay pin to low, that is off condition, and initializes the serial communication at the baud rate of 9600 uh, for debugging purposes. So all these are uh, in a wide setup. Next is wide loop. Here. So in wide loop, uh, we have a function PIR state is equal to digital read PIR sensor pin. And if a PIR sensor, uh, PIR state is equal to high and the last PIR uh, state is equal to low and uh, not bulb on, then uh, we will write uh, digital write uh, uh, relay pin low and the person is uh, detected bulb is on and, uh, and bulb on if it is true and bulb on time milliseconds. Uh, so um, all these lines, uh, PIR state equal to low, if PIR state is equal to low, last PIR state is equal to high bul bulb on. So these conditions, uh, the loop function is where the main program resides. This is uh, resides and it runs continuously. It reads the current state of the PIR sensor and stores it in a PIR state. 
it reads the current state of the PIR sensor and stores it in a variable PIR state. If person is detected and the PIR sensor goes high uh, and the previous state was low, and the earlier state was low, meaning that the motion was not uh, not just detected and the bulb is also not on, um, uh, not already on. And it turns on the uh, relay bulb by setting the relay pin to low and prints a message the person is detected and sets the bulb on uh, uh, or uh, to track the bulb state. So in this way, and another one, if there is no motion, the second second uh, condition, if there is no motion, PIR state is low, the PIR state will be low, and the previous state was high um, because motion was just stopped. So the bulb was also on. So it checks the time duration since the bulb was turned on and uh, if it is greater than or equal to bulb on duration. So if it is, uh, then it turns off the bulb by setting relay pin to high. So prints the message indicating that uh, the person left and uh, sets the bulb on to false to track the bulb state and updates the last PIR state to the current PIR state. So this code uh, effectively controls the bulb based on motion detection, turning it on and off as you need it. And you can adjust the bulb duration to control how long bulb stays on after detecting the motion.